This lesson will show how to solve a linear programming problem. The feasible region will be graphed using Desmos.com. The first step in solving a linear programming problem is to define the variables. Step two is to write the objective function and state whether the goal is to maximize or minimize the function. Step three, write the constraints. Step four, graph the constraints to determine the feasible region. Step five, identify the vertices of the feasible region. And step six, test the vertices in the objective function to determine the maximum or minimum function value. Let's take a look at our example. Homer Tube Incorporated manufactures two types of tubing, copper tubing and plastic tubing. Their factory has a capacity to manufacture up to 300 copper tubes and up to 500 plastic tubes per month, but can only manufacture up to a combined total of 700 of both types of tubes per month. Each copper tube takes four hours to manufacture, and each plastic tube takes two hours to manufacture. Homer Tube has budgeted 1,800 hours per month to produce these tubes. If Homer Tube makes $33 profit on each copper tube and $17.50 profit on each plastic tube, how many of each type of tube should Homer Tube manufacture in order to maximize profits? We also want to know the maximum monthly profit. Let's begin by defining the variables. We will let C equal the number of copper tubes and lowercase p equal the number of plastic tubes. Next, let's write the objective function, which is the profit function we want to maximize. And since the company makes $33 profit on each copper tube and $17.50 profit on each plastic tube, the profit, capital P, is a function of C and lowercase p is equal to $33 times the number of copper tubes, or 33C, plus $17.50 times the number of plastic tubes, which is 17.5 times lowercase p. And now let's write the constraints. The factory has a capacity to manufacture up to 300 copper tubes per month. And we also know C must be non-negative, and therefore C must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 300. And they can also make up to 500 plastic tubes per month, and therefore P must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 500. But they can also only manufacture a combined total of 700 of both types of tubes per month, which means C plus P must be less than or equal to 700. And then finally we have a constraint involving the manufacturing time. Each copper tube takes four hours, each plastic tube takes two hours, and there's a budget of 1,800 total hours. The number of hours spent making the copper tubes is going to be four times C, or four hours times the number of copper tubes, plus the time spent making the plastic tubes is going to be two hours times the number of plastic tubes, or 2P, and the sum must be less than or equal to 1,800. Now that we have our four constraints, we will graph them using Desmos.com to determine the feasible region, then determine the vertices of the feasible region. When graphing in Desmos, though, we will have to use the variables of x and y. So for the purpose of graphing, we will let c equal x and p equal y. And now we go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. Before we begin graphing, though, let's adjust the window by clicking on the wrench in the upper right-hand corner. We know the interval for c is from 0 to 300, which will be along the x-axis. So let's change the minimum for the x-axis to negative 100, and the max to 400. We can always come back and change this if we need to. And the interval for p is from 0 to 500, which will be along the y-axis. Let's change the y-min to negative 100, and the y-max to 600. Let's go ahead and close the window. The first constraint is 0 less than or equal to c less than or equal to 300, which we enter as 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 300, enter. The next constraint is 0 less than or equal to p less than or equal to 500, which we enter as 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 500, enter. Let's close the keypad for a moment. Notice right now the rectangular region here in the middle has been shaded twice. 
And since we have four constraints, when we finish, the feasible region will be the region that is shaded four times. The next constraint is C plus P less than or equal to 700, which we enter as X plus Y less than or equal to 700, enter. And the last constraint is 4C plus 2P less than or equal to 1,800, which we enter as 4X plus 2Y less than or equal to 1,800, enter. Let's close the keypad. Now analyzing the graph, again, we're looking for the region that is shaded four times, which is this region here that has one, two, three, four, five sides. The next step is to determine the vertices of the feasible region, which in Desmos is easy. We can simply click on the points of intersection. So here we have the origin. Next we have 0, 500. Next is 200, 500. Next we have 300, 300. And finally we have 300, 0. We lost this point up here, which again is 200, 500. And now we take these five ordered pairs and evaluate the profit function. So going back to our work, I've copied the graph on the slide. Again, the feasible region is enclosed by the pentagon where the five sides are one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the feasible region here. Remember each ordered pair is in the form of C comma P. So now we evaluate the profit function using the five ordered pairs, which I've already done here to save some time. Notice how the largest profit is $15,350. And this occurs when C, the number of copper tubes is 200, and P, the number of plastic tubes is 500. So going back to our first slide, to maximize profits, the company should produce 200 copper tubes and 500 plastic tubes for a maximum profit of $15,350. I hope you found this helpful.